Yeah, let me know when. All right, here we go. Map one, we got Utica going ahead against the University at Albany. Alpha Utica, Bravo's Albany. I'm joined by Reagan here. He's gonna help me commentate. Yeah, thanks for having me, Ryan. You to go off to an early lead here. Looks to have full control of the hard point. Bullet Prince sitting on a head. He gets taken off. Divin follows up with a, follow, uh, with a kill, though. Trade out. You know, Ryan, University of Albany really struggling to get on the point here. Utica looks to have this pretty locked down. Yeah, let's see if they can make a break here. Let's see. Biz just chilling in the back here on this comp. Biz just looks like they have a push here. Biz That's Mac right holding there. down back side. Still no push in quite yet. This looks to be a pretty dominating fashion so far for Utica College. Absolutely. So we got diving, taking the rest of the time. They're all moving next hill. Looks like they got Cosmic holding time while Jalen's gonna watch this flank here. Let's see if he picks him up, and he does not. Biz Mac uh, comes up with the kill. Cosmic comes up for the trade. Nice Getting pressured by another one. He rounds the corner and ruins him. Once again, Utica just looking like the superior team as of right now, at least. Absolutely. Well, sure. Pick up a free kill there on Biz Mac. Close one right there. John picks two up mid. Three piece. Cosmic shot. I don't know if you've seen this, Ryan. Cosmic get the, shots oh, currently. Ooh, sorry about that. I just saw Jalen got a four piece right there. That's crazy. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Jalen currently on a four kill streak. Cosmic shot's currently sitting on a five. Let's see how far they can go with these. Cosmic now on a six. Let's switch over to him. See what he's got going on. So it looks like he's holding over scrap time here. Yeah, Cosmic shot's really making a, a, a great trade off here for Frenzy. He's starting off the uh, day six and oh. Absolutely, and yeah, it's worth the mention. Yeah, we usually got friends here, but Cosmic, uh, he's coming up from the bench here right now, and he's really putting a show on. He got taken uh, out. Just, just as you're saying that, he gets he gets caught out on the outside. Loses that streak, but I believe he picked up a strafe run off of that, so it didn't come out empty-handed. You betcha. You see, just holding down time right now, just about to hit 100 points right now as we speak. University of Albany currently sitting at 19. The kill feed is just all red for Utica College. So you are looking over at the other side, Havoc is really struggling to find his way right now, currently sitting at 1 in 10. Cosmic Shots hits a nasty turn on Havoc as we're talking about him. <laughs> you summoned him right there. Between Havoc and Aimed, 1 and 11 and 2 and 9. You know, Ryan, with, with, uh, with KDs like that, you really can't expect your team to be in the game. <laughs> absolutely not, no. And on the Utica side, absolutely dominating. Everyone's almost got about double, uh, double kill death ratio here. Absolutely. And Sam most are at triple. Polish is sitting there. You know, you know, same amount of kills as everyone else, a little bit more death, it's alright, sacrificing mm -hmm. the body. Aimed looking to get some time right here, he gets picked off by Cosmic Shots, he kills Bismack too for the two piece. Finds three, kills him, does he spot the fourth? I don't know if he does, he's flashed here in point. Once again, look at this feed, just all red for Utica. Absolutely, and Connor here, he's got a, t he's got a minute 30 on time too, and an amazing KD. He's really showing out so far. University of Albany does not even look like they want to attempt coming to the hill. They're almost camping a little bit there, if I say. Seems to be like that. Looks like they get the early rotation, though, getting a few points on the board. UC is about to pop on in right here. One kill by John, another one by Divin, and points clear. UC with control again. Looks like we might have just... Another minute and a half here left on this game. Absolutely. The rate this is going, unless University of Albany really pulls a, pulls a bunny out of the hat or something here. Absolutely here. Polish, is that a four piece by Polish? He's on a streak of five right now. Let's see if he can make that six. Oh, almost there. Oh. Makes Absolutely. a six right there. 
One kill off a strafing run. Two kills off a cruise missile. Looks like he's just playing his life right here as he's rotating back to P1. Oh, we might get a sneaky. Oh, he can't find it. Leads Prodigy one shot in the back. Albany getting a little bit of time here. And scratch that. UC takes it right back. Since we were talking about him early on, Polish with that KD, he's almost turned it into a 2 KD right now. Absolutely, yeah. He, had a, he saw his teammates, he said, I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> Let's see, is uh, Cosmic heating up again? Let's see if, he can get a, see if he can go back to his previous six streak. He's on four right now. And the time, too. Two minutes and 20-something seconds. That's a lot. He's really You can currently rebound, being currently sitting on a one and two record with losses to Rutgers and NGIT earlier this week. And they're making a strong statement for that rebound right now. Looks like this hill can uh, end this game right now. I think it's gonna too. Yeah, if I was a bad man, I'd say they're gonna end it right here. <laughs> you know, 10 seconds left on point. I don't think uh, Albany's got much of a chance here to come back, especially with Polish flicking on kids like that. Absolutely. And just like that, we're gonna have a one nothing Utica College lead. Map one in the books. Let's see if University of Albany can somehow switch things around here in the second map. With a dominating performance like that, you really don't think it would be in cards. Agreed, 100%. So Ryan, fill me in. What was your experience like on the, uh, you said you played on the COD team? Yeah, I did. I and actually, you graduated uh, last year, correct? Yes. Yeah, actually, I started it way back in September of 2020, I believe it was, uh, just myself. And I slow, uh, as time progressed over the next couple of weeks, you know, you, you'd see me running around putting flyers up on boards all around campus. Uh, but shortly after, I, I, met, uh, I met Polish and I met Cosmic and the rest of the guys, a lot of the guys you see. Um, we started off with our four to five man team and started off on Modern Warfare, if you can believe it. And then Cold War came out. Uh, modern Modern Warfare one or two three? What are we talking here? Uh, Twenty nineteen, the the reboot. Ah, okay. Yeah, then we logged. We got into Cold War. We had a we had a decent season. It was our first one around. Um, but looking at our performance from this past fall league and now, oh, well, we've we've they've improved tenfold. It's really nice to see the the Utica boys putting in the work. Wow, I I had no idea. I was sitting here, you know. <laughs> Podcasting with the COD founder of UC College, it's, you know, as you're saying, it's it's been incredible. I, I started watching last year when uh, a good friend of mine, Jalen, picked up on the COD team, mm -hmm. along so with the fresh edition of Frenzy last year, and they've really began to turn the tides of this program. I think. Oh my gosh! But, yeah, two of them have. They were showing out like crazy. I remember I was making a joke. I said they're the simp and Abizia Utica. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong on Tiny that. Tiny terrors right here. You know, it seems to me like they are, you know, they've, they've gotten over that first hump. I went back and looked at some of the records from the earlier COD years, such as you were talking about. Obviously, it sounds like you were, uh, you know, trying to get things going uh, yeah. pretty unorganized at the start. But, I mean, through your effort, this, this team has really come come together. But with the new addition, I believe, of the uh, eSports area next year for Utica College, too, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we've making, we're making so much progress in actually having this become a, a uh, recognized program something that's not you know it started off as a club but it's going to be so much more than that and it's it's nice to it's nice to see it be like that i mean hey we never we never really even commentated before either but here we are now doing it it's awesome here we are got a couple of viewers in the chat so ryan you got any more insight for us as to what the uh structure is going to be like for the esports in the coming future uh nothing i can really say concrete yet or at least anything that can be released but uh we're definitely we're growing as we always have been. I mean, we started off with just a COD team. Now we have uh, Counter Strike Go, uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, there's one more, I believe, which is uh, what is that off the top of my head? Let me think here. Oh my God, it's escaping me right now. But we have four teams. I know we're rostered four teams, and uh, I think the future is is just really building out this program and having it become what I would like to envision, I think everybody else would too, one of the best programs in the state and if not the country. 
you know, it's almost you almost got to get a little bit lucky though. Really looking at it from the outside. I mean, every four years you have graduate, you have graduations come through. You lose players, mm -hmm. you pick some up. Absolutely. Sometimes it's just the luck of the draw, and which player ends up coming into uh, the school. Your your choice. Yeah. All right, we're hopping back in here in the Tuscan Search and Destroy. It looks like Utica is pushing A pretty hard here. We got two mid. Oh, one picked off. Utica going for a four-man A push. Uh, University of Albany going for a two and two. Bombs down, 40 seconds left. Really, uh, University of Albany not really pressuring bomb site just yet. Looks like they're playing a little bit more passive. Jalen picks Ooh, one off with a nice sniper. Pick. Prodigy picks one up on Divin, making it a 3v2 situation here. Let's see if Jalen can pick off Prodigy here on the flank. Looks like it's coming just to his right here, and he's going to be able to spot him and picks him off. Just like that, Utica College takes his 1-1-0. One, one, it's nice to see the, the sniper back in action. I know back in Cold War, everything was GA'd, and snipers were a no-no, but it's nice to return back and be able to see a little bit of diversity when it comes to weapons. I was just about to say that. I think that's the first time I've seen you do college uh, using the sniper uh, within the game. Especially, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that they uh, handed it off to Jalen, who's more so known as a submachine gun player. <laughs> I would have thought that uh, Polish as a main AR maybe uh, would have taken over that role, maybe Divin. Right, exactly. I uh, agree. He just seems like a universal player. Got to give it to Jalen. Let's see if Jalen going to read this push here. University of Albany. Doesn't look like they know he's here. Like Potentially, oh, now he knows they're here, and there's one, and there's, oh, he gets oh. turned on by Bismack. Cotton That's always tough. Looking for the trade right now, it doesn't know that Bismack moved his way down, down low, pushing towards A. 2v2 situation here for Divin and Cosmic. Let's see what they can do here. University of Albany really doesn't look like they know which bomb site they want to go to just yet. Uh, Cosmic picked off. Bismack drops, and it looks like they're going to wrap this back to A. Divin appears to be reading this like a book, though. Let's see if he can get this pick. Spots one and kills in 1v1 situation here. Bomb down at A. Divin knows that bomb is down. Havoc's going to have to go pick that one back up. Divin playing this one slow. Ten seconds left on the clock. I don't even think University of Albany is going to have time to plant this I one, even so if they get it. He still hasn't even picked yeah. up bomb yet. Oh, He's yeah. not going to be able to. 2 nothing, Utica. Ooh. I think the, oh, too late. Not quite sure what the thought process was there, Ryan. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not too sure. I may, Maybe he was trying to uh, maneuver around, see if he could catch him trying to watch bomb. I don't know. By the looks of it, I think he was a little confused and maybe thought he was on defense. <laughs> Perhaps he did. Was that bomb defused in the first round, Ryan? Uh, it, are you seeing this on my screen? I have it a one to one. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it was two two uh, two zero Utica as well. I guess I don't know. That's that's a good I, question. I'm not quite sure what we missed there, but the score currently reads one to one, unless there's a glitch within the game. It, yeah. Divin picks one off early, and wow, what a sweep by UCP. Dominant game. I don't know what. Again. Just, uh, I'm not sure what we missed there, but yeah, 2-1 to one, Utica College. I don't know how we missed that one. Me neither. Good thing we're not paid casters, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're paid by uh, our love for Call of Duty. We'll put it that way. All right, 2-1 Utica. I wonder, does Jalen run the sniper? No, Jalen's uh, back to sub by the looks of it, I think. Polish Prince currently sitting at a one and one Looks like Albany takes out the sniper as they find Divin on the long side A angle. I think they may Polish have seen what a couple shots down. And they said, ooh, that's a good idea. Prodigy holding this hard angle right here on push. It's going to be a hard one to win, but he always oh, gets a couple shots. Leaves him one shot. Going in for the push. Does not know there's another Albany member there. It goes down. 3v2 situation here for Albany. Looks like they're really slow playing getting this bomb down.
Cosmic knows, knows he's here. Let's see if he plays a little bit aggressive here, if he's going to wait to listen in on when the bomb starts to be planted. Finds Prodigy, can't hit the shots, can't get it on Bismack. 2v1 situation here for Albany. Last alive is Jalen. Jalen known as the Iceman. Let's see if he can fill his name again here. The plant appears to be going down. Oh, tough one there. Jalen cannot find the kill. And Albany ties this one up 2-2. Two to two. I thought he had him there for sure. I made the mistake of not being on watching his screen, so I didn't even see what was going on, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's all right. You know, we don't have all the luxuries those uh, paid Comcasters do, no, or Comcasters, so. Looks like Utica again going to go for a full-out A push, two up mid. A. Looks like bomb is gonna start going down here and momentarily. Polish is gonna wrap around, make sure he's got that safe plant. Bomb going down right now. You could just plan for iteration right now. Cosmic's able to find one. Is he able to find the second? Gets pushed oh. from two, is not. Polish and Divin just playing patiently over here towards A bomb site. Like Jalen's far back in the spawn as well, looking for a wraparound maybe from mid. Jalen playing for a late flank. Uh, is unaware that does not look like anything's going to pop up. Havoc may show his face right here. He's going to make the call out to Divin. Divin's going to turn around. Amazing and Divin promise. finds a kill on Havoc. Looks like Jalen in the very back of the map there ended up helping out after all. Able to make that call out to Divin. Divin, Divin able to turn his angle. Find the kill, and just like that, you've got three to two. Absolutely. We don't know because we can't listen to the, into the comms right now, but I can imagine that was uh, that information uh, won that round right there, seeing them cross over back. Would we be able to go in for a live comms? This, uh, we may or may not be able to uh, for this stream. Generally, I give them a heads up just in case, but I haven't done that uh, for this match, so maybe, uh, maybe we'll, in between matches. We'll work on that match. for future matches then. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like Divin's able to find the first blood on Havoc. Polish finds one on Aimed. Looks like Polish is going for an entire wrap. Oh, hit with a sniper. Prodigy really taking into account Jalen Snipes' early game. Divin tossing the nade over his way. Not going to connect. Divin watching the wrap as well. Oh, he just goes before Prodigy meets there. Prodigy just misses his view of Divin. Cosmic Shot's able to take him out. 3v1 situation here, and that is a another win for Utica College. 4-2. to two. Divin doing a great job of just holding that back angle with an AR. Absolutely. Picking off kids, picking off the other other opposing team whenever they come through. Throughout the entirety of this uh, this match, it looks like Utica just dominates map control too. I mean, there was a couple times where U Albany they, they did a wraparound, but it was they, they saw it before it could happen. So they're definitely putting in the work they need to. Once again, aimed and havoc really having themselves a rough game. Uh, Prodigy sneaks right up the middle and knifes cosmic shots. He's gonna find the kill on Jalen here too. Just rush uh, straight up middle. Now trying to hunt down Polish. Polish flanks back. Looks like he's going to try to hit under church. Looks like he might meet. Even on the wrap here. back here. Let's see if he's able to find the kill. And look at that timing. He's... Prodigy's going to be right behind Divin here. Let's see how this time works out. He spots him. Not able to finish the kill. Divin knows where he's at now. 2v3 situation. Bismack now able to find Divin. Last alive. Polish Prince for Utica. Bomb down though. Polish knows where Biz is at. Not able to connect those shots. And he goes down to Biz with the pistol. Four to three. Oh, but he's going to come back here. Somebody's going to have to get Prodigy some Advil after this game because his back's going to be hurting. <laughs> I think they may.
both Bismack and Prodigy for University of Albany currently riding two kill uh, two kill streaks. See if they can keep that up going into round eight here right here. Albany looking like they're gonna switch things up. Let's see if got Uticus here for the read. They only have Jalen here over on B site. See if the Iceman can get something done here. Uh, they're able to find one. They know the B push is here. Now here comes Jalen for the trade and he's able to pick up a double. A triple Jalen. by Jalen, the Iceman, man. Kid's crazy. Pops up. I was a little worried when they did a, we were running a four man push over towards B and Jalen's there for the read and picks up himself a nice triple. He's got a fitting calling card and emblem too. Didn't even realize that till now. <laughs> you know, after that, uh, the first weekend here, I believe they played. Gosh, no, Ryan, do you remember who they played uh, first map here in the CCL this year? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me check right now. Because I know that they're, so, for the viewers as well, I know that uh, Utica Cod is in two or three different leagues right now. We've got Nace Star League, which is, this is the first match in Nace Star League tonight. College Cod, I think they're in their second or third match. Um, let, me get, let me get that info for you here real quick. Either way, I know Jalen clutched up in a round... 10 search and destroy on this very map where he was able to gain the nickname Iceman. I know he's taken that to heart. He absolutely loves that push. As I'm saying this, we have a 1v1 situation with the Iceman currently. Let's see. John currently do. sitting on a four streak, looking to make that five. Biz sitting on a one, looking to make that two. And Regan, I Biz believe that match holding. was. Uh, oh, sorry about that. I believe that match was against Stockton University when Jalen was turning up the. Good call. You're exactly us. right. Looks like we have a little bit of a standoff here, just looking for information from either side. 30 seconds left on the map. Jalen with a potential flank from behind. I'm not quite sure if he knows Biz is hanging back in this spawn. Biz is going to come through middle. Looks like they just miss each other. I don't know if Biz is able to get a spot on our uh, eyes on him there. Jalen's going to flank this back to B bomb site. Looks like bomb's going to go down at B. Awesome rotation. Uh, Bismack here, by the looks of it, he's just starting to realize what's going on and watch. Boom, now he'll now finally see what's happening. Now he understands what's going on as Bomb goes down. Jalen looks like the push is going to come in. He's able to spot Biz. Shots go down. He's able to secure the kill. UCP takes map number two by a score of six to three, putting them up two nothing in the series. That was definitely just Jalen's map. Regan, he just uh, went off, what, 13 and three, 1600 damage. He got a couple of objectives there too. 13 and 3. Wow, he came alive in the back half of that map. Look at the damage he put down. 1,600. In a map with only 9 rounds played in it, that's that's an insane amount of damage. I agree. And 100%. kills. Let's see if Utica College can go for the clean sweep here on map number three, if I'm not mistaken. I believe we may be heading to Bocage. Bocage. This may be a strange now, did, question. Oh, go ahead, Regan. Did they implement uh, control onto this for the third map uh, now? That was what I was going to ask, because I know when we started off with College Cod, we were doing uh, hard point search, hard point in, the, in that fashion. So I believe we were only playing the two game modes. But uh, I know in the CDL, the Call of Duty League, they're, they're back to the normal... Uh, three game mode variation so i don't know i guess we'll have to check out and see what we get nice control would be a good uh change of pace here i'm hoping they do but i guess we'll see here momentarily in just a second i really love the aspect of control you know it's almost like a uh a for long search and destroy match as do i you got so many you got so many options on how and strategies on how you can win the win the round you know you play lives you can play the objective a mix of the two There we go. Now it's letting me switch teams here. Map change looks like, at least as of right now, Bocage is set for hard point. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting a hard point for map three here. I guess we'll have to wait till the future when they implement control if they do. But I agree with you, Regan. I, I would really like to see control make a return. Uh, 
I, I, actually, that's probably my favorite game mode uh, in Cold War in the competitive uh, realm. Yeah, seeing a full team just being able to get control of the map, especially in those later games when rounds are slim and full, get a full stack on those uh, those sites is, is really incredible to watch. Really is truly seen teams with you know 20 lives and a team with four lives left in the map and the team with four is able to get a sweep on the uh opposing team and you know a four stack on site could really change the tides of any game mode but like you're saying doesn't look like we're gonna get that right now for the time being as of right now going to bocage for a game of hard point here let's see if Utica can uh, wrap this thing up we we're gonna have to ask polish about that after this game though Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we'll figure out what, uh, what's going on with that. Don't have the stream up on my phone right now. Is anything going on in the chat? Uh, let me see. <laughs> Looks like we got, uh, we got It's Rage saying Polish Prince has played every single match in a cutoff, and that is the truth as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you know, Polish has been hitting the gym. Maybe wants to show off those muscles. He's hoping for a uh, a live interview with a webcam on after this, but I don't <laughs> think he's gonna get it. We'll have to we'll have to plan that for the future. But I know there has he has gotten live interviews. I don't know if you've seen him, Regan, from uh, I believe it was last the fall the fall. Uh, yeah, the uh, the Nate Star League last year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he always had that cutoff on. He was ready to go. I know they were very excited uh, when they had the mainstream last year. Ryan, did you ever get the opportunity to play on the mainstream? Uh, we did when we played Cold War. We actually, uh, if I if I'm not mistaken, this previous fall when they were actually asked just because of their their how their performance was amazing. They were they were undefeated for a while, and then I think they were seven one seven uh, seven and one was their record before. Was it against Stockton University that they fell? Uh, no, I don't believe so. I think it was. Uh, I know they, they ran against... through the heartbreak of the uh, round eleven search and destroy loss in the uh, quarterfinals last year versus Old Dominion University. Yes. And the fifth map round eleven couldn't ask for much more in a game. They had a two v one situation, and all the players are very upset they weren't able to clutch that one out. Yeah, sorry to go back to your. Qu I had to. I had to just had to fix something on the stream really quick. What was your question again previously? You said was I able ever able to play on stream? Yeah, were you able we, uh, to play on the uh, mainstream? Yeah, I actually, uh, when when I was playing in the Cold War season, it was actually uh, Dive in Polish and Cosmic and I. We played against uh, Albany or the Albany Bobcats, uh, Bryant and Stratton College on the CCL stream. We had to set it up, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to see that. Wow, that had to have been a pretty cool feeling. Any idea on how many players were uh, in that game, or how many people were watching that stream? If I'm not mistaken, we had a. They, they had an Alpha and a Bravo stream, Alpha being uh, the main one, and Bra I think we were on Bravo. I think we had, we had a few dozen or so. It's more than what we're, what we're used to, right? <laughs> Not bad. You know, we're starting to pick up those viewers right now, too. Also, while saying that, shout out to the uh, UC men's hockey team, too. I know they're in numbers watching this game. A few of them have the stream on, watching with all the boys. I keep hearing about how, how Utica hockey is. Like the number one fans of COD, I always hear how they're always in the street and I love it. So yeah, absolutely shouts out to them. Yeah, you gotta come hang out with us sometime. <laughs> you betcha. You still in the area at all? Actually no, I'm moving uh, I'm moving back down to the Utica area in a few weeks. So that I'll have to take well, up on that offer. Looking forward to that then. That'll be a good time. Dude, college currently sitting. Looks like they've had full control over this hard point. Polish picks up a two piece right there. And he gets dropped. The switch on over to Cosmic Shots currently riding a kill streak of five. You take a full control over this hard point. It looks like we don't want to be speaking too soon here, but we may have another clean sweep here. I'm starting to get that feeling as well. Like you said, not speak too soon, but dominating performance so far. 65-3. Really just not impressed with this play of aimed and havoc here. Currently, once again, sitting at... One and five and one and six. Cosmic on the flank here. Able to pick up one, not able to pick up the second one, but he's able to pick up a glide bomb. Did you, did you catch that Jalen? He, did, he didn't catch that guy right there. That was a tough one. Switching on over UC. Still full control of the hard point though. 
switch on over to Polish Prince, who appears to be having himself a game. Currently sitting at 10 and 3. Havoc takes his own player out along with Polish with that nade. University of Albany finally able to get themselves on the hard point and pick up some time here. Looks like Jalen might come in from top. Jalen able to pick up one. Viz able to shoot him down. Sorry, excuse me, cosmic shots. Polish with two pass here, able to pick up two, three, four. Nice two piece right there. Full wipe. Full wipe. UC takes over time. Looks like they got him in a bit of a spawn trap now. Once again, this entirety of UC roster looking at about a 2KD right now. Jalen currently sitting on a 5 streak right now. Going to switch on over to him. Make that 6. He must have heard Jalen's you talking. He said, I want 6 now. Jalen's had the hot hand here tonight as he picks up 7. This man cannot be killed. Believe it or not, Jalen was actually negative before the start of this kill streak. Now he's 10 and 4. I guess that's why they say it's never chalked till it's chalked, right? Make that. Oh, he's not able to pick up nine. He leaves Bismack one shot. So Regan, by the sounds of it, do you are you are you familiar? You have a background in casting. You seem to be very well accustomed to it. I know myself. I uh, don't. Believe, but... it or, believe it or not, I do not whatsoever. Um. But you're on the, the, you're on the look uh, uh, hockey team, right? Sorry about that. Yes. Yes, I am. Just runs in your blood, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just years of watching the uh, the COD League. I've always been an, an Optic fan, so they've been going downhill a lot as of recently. But let's see if they can pick it back up this year. Absolutely. You know, I've yeah. been uh, a fan watching them since probably about 2015, back when they had the Greenwall Dynasty. That was a time, wasn't it? That's a good time to be an Optic fan, that's for dang sure. <laughs> right now, FaZe seems to have all the uh, the love around them, even though they dropped uh, the first uh, game the other day. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. Jalen's a FaZe fan, he was pretty shaken up over that loss. I can imagine, yeah, the, the Surge were uh, like the Grim Reaper for FaZe, it seems, from last year and this year. They're just, they're the only one, if you don't uh, if I'm not mistaken, in one of the major tournaments, they, they took out FaZe was undefeated or something of that nature. What was it? The Los Angeles Thieves also looking to make a name for themselves this year. They, uh, I believe they have a brand new full roster. Yeah, they, uh, they, I think they, they picked up Envoy from Optic and they uh, picked up Octane from Surge. And the returning players are Draza and the, I can't remember the fourth, but... Either way, they were a force to be reckoned with the other day on the first, uh, first day of the... Kickoff classic? Yeah, absolutely. It was a kickoff classic. You were correct, and I believe that was in Texas, too. Wish I could have been there. Can't imagine. That'd be a blast to go to one of those, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. University of Albany uh, appearing to try to come back here. They got some time on E1. You'd like to see Utica just close this thing out real quick. Yeah, it's almost tonight. like they're listening to me when I'm saying that. As they take <laughs> over hard point and they're rotated back over to the next. Yeah, this is definitely Utica's playground tonight, for sure. Jalen yeah, hopped off that time with one second left, or they actually could have won it on this hill currently. Looks like either way, this is going to go to a another hard point. Nice two piece from Jalen right there. Able to pick up on a three kill streak right now. Currently sitting at 16 and 9. Make that 4. Make that 5. Is it going to be 6 right here? He's able to pick up 6. Goes for the pistol. You can tell he's really feeling it here when he pulls out that pistol and continues firing when he's out of ammo. <laughs> Absolutely. John Wick or John Quick? John Click? I don't know. He's got to pick <laughs> up one of those names. John with the glide bomb. Looks like Universal. Looks like they're going to have Bar in control here. Current score 226 to 61. Given now picking himself up a five, make that six streak. 
Devin quietly having himself a game, sitting at 27 and 9. Make that 28. He's on a streak of 8 right now. They say they always save the best for last. I guess Divin wanted to show out real quick right here and say, hey, this is what I'm capable of. Divin on a 9 streak. Can he make it 10? It looks like it might be like that. Oh, and he can. 10. It's, he's also got two more lined up. He's on an 11. He's just having a field day right now. At this point, they might get off the hill and let him go for the nuke streak. Oh, just as I say that, he gets picked off. Looking over at the flip side here, Havoc really, really struggling in this match here. 5 and 24. Looks like they've got to... They cannot, they cannot lose a hill again and whatsoever. Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. They already lost it. Well, 3 nothing Utica. How about that, Regan? 3 nothing and, and dominating performance, too. Great rebound from last week's performance versus uh, Rutgers. Agreed. They definitely just, after that match, they regained, came back, clear headspace, and they did it. You know, a match like that's really going to gain confidence, too, for the team. And I'm excited to see that heading into the next match. Well, Ryan, is that all for tonight? I believe that is. Yeah, quick 3-0 from Utica there. Um, awesome performance just all over. Playground was Utica's tonight, and it was awesome to have two casters on here. We haven't done this in a while. Yeah, it's been a blast. I've enjoyed every second of it so far tonight. Absolutely, and can we uh, can we expect you to to join me and I to join you uh, on these weekly weekly games? We can. Well, there. You're dang right. You heard it right there. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. My name is Ryan. This is Regan. And uh, we'll catch you next week with the next game. It's been a pleasure.